Hey, mate, welcome back. Uh, it's outstanding news. It's the news we've waited all off-season uh, for. Um, did tell us about the decision to, to put pen to paper and, and travel south again for next year's NBL. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I'm excited, excited to come back down there. We've had two good years. Let's uh, try and make that third. Hey, t- tell us about uh, Bevo, because uh, you guys have got a bit of a history between you and him, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, have a lot of respect for Bevo. Um, he gave me my chance in the NBL. Um, seems like a lifetime ago now, but um, <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, he signed me for the, my first NBL contract with the Illawarra Hawks, and um, obviously, we had a good relationship back then, and, and you know, we were in constant talks no matter where each of us are in the world, uh, doing our own things with basketball. But I'm very excited to be uh, to be back on board with Bevo. I think he literally might have used you as a bit of a scout for the organisation too, did he, without giving away too many secrets? Yeah, he's, he's had a few questions regarding the league and who's in it and um, who he would like to have down there in Southland. So, um, yeah, it's good to see that he's, uh, he's putting all the posts in the fire and see what we can get out of there. Tell us a little bit about the man, because, you know, obviously we, cause, uh, we, we've got him down in the Deep South this week, which is outstanding as well, too. But just, uh, you know, in, in terms of your history and in terms of the man, you know, the man himself and, and what he's had in your career and others, I mean, just give us a bit of an insight into, into Rob and what, he, what he's likely to bring from a coaching point of view in your mind. Uh, he's just a good guy. Um, I think that's where it all starts. Um, he genuinely cares about his players and the guys he's invested in. And, um, you know, when you invest in his system, he instills a lot of confidence um, in all his players, uh, right from one all the way down to 10 or 15, however many uh, roster players we have. Um, and, you know, when you take that confidence into the court, um, he, he gives you a lot of trust and, you know, he, he knows who he has on his team and their strengths. So, um, you know, putting all that together, I think, is going to gonna make for a really good season this year. Yeah, nice. And and, and for you, uh, you know, to, to obviously come back to Invercargo after a uh, after a couple of years. I mean, what were the what were the sort of key things from a decision making point of view that you had to get, get around there, or was it an easy one? I, it was a very easy one. To be honest. Um, <laughs> obviously, with Juddy leaving, uh, you know, his coaching last year, um, I wasn't too sure what was going to happen. But um, obviously, with Bevo coming in and you know the great community that is down there in South and um, you know it's a very easy decision to come back. Um, I think we have the best facilities, you know, the best crowds, the best support system in the end of NBL, and you know from, the, from that point it's a very easy decision to come back.